this wrath of man guy Ritchie, dude guy Ritchie. What yes the, i mean <laughs> oh, this is yeah. uh, unbelievable yeah, uh totally. yeah let's 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 just dive in you play a character yeah. named sam mm -hmm. right yeah let's see what, right. what what about sam what what is he uh all about it's, it's a trip because i got the rap well i didn't get the script i got i got you know i was invited to read for for guy sort of you know on on um uh, i put a tape together for him you know to send off and i mean i've been a huge fan of his work from lock stock two smoking barrels the snatch rock and roll all those movies i love oh, uh, rock and so, roll you know yeah so good so it was a no-brainer i was like yes i'm, I'm gonna put what, wait, real down. quick i don't want to interrupt you but what's your what do you think is the most underrated guy ritchie film i think rock and roll okay uh, fair enough yeah i do what do you think i was gonna say revolver i think either one of those mm, i was gonna mm. say rock and roller or revolver i think yeah, they're so yeah, underrated yeah, yeah. No, they're killer right. movie he does you're not right. make bad movies to me yeah that's right uh, king that's arthur right. look even king that was badass yeah, totally totally Dude. anyway yeah, yeah. sorry I didn't mean no, no. <laughs> but uh but yeah i play i play sam he's part of a unit um it was a trip because i i i shot wrath just after army of the dead like like Two weeks later, I was in London uh, doing pre-production oh, wow. for that. Yeah. Wow. So, and then you know that's that that character is part of a military unit. I was standing around like holding like semi-automatic weapons and like you know, <laughs> you know, thinking what a trip. Like what? A, <laughs> you know? uh, and and that was another great. You know, I'm part of a unit that includes like Jeffrey Donovan and Laz Alonzo and Scott Eastwood, and you know, it was cool to like be part of this kind of uh they're, they're uh, so they're a former military unit is what we know about them at the beginning of the film and um uh, who are kind of down and out and like looking for an opportunity and then they get involved with uh jason statham's character in, in the mix uh and all hell breaks loose you know uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it kind of it kind of has to yeah at that point yeah, yeah. right it, totally, it involves totally. jason statham heist totally. team hello <laughs> it's gonna something's gonna happen totally. it's this movie it's called wrath of man but it's mm -hmm. based off of uh, another film called cash truck right a that's european right. film is yes, it french was it yes, french? french yep yeah french. that's right yeah. cash truck. it is an amazing the the way i was not expecting the film to unfold the way it did story-wise and i loved mm. it yeah he's such a right he's such a great storyteller the totally. way the story unfolds it, it, it's just another exciting element to this film like you're you're, you're gonna love the action of course you're gonna love statham and all the stuff and the stunts and but the the dialogue and the storytelling is just unreal man it's so totally good. totally it's like one of those films that jumps around in perspective yeah i love it i think the i think and i think with both of these films kind of to speak to what you were saying before it's why, that's why it's so great to see these are movies that you want to see in the movie theater because they're yes. they work on that scale you know they're grand yep. and they're like you want to you want that sound system you want that that you know that the size of those visuals it's great that the you know the cinema industry is bouncing back and we go to see movies again and and, and that these films are like coming out yeah. now is like so exciting it's that kind of movie and it's that kind of movie it like so it jumps around like i was saying in perspective you start in you know one one story arc and then you jump into another it kind of like it don't and and, and you know it kind of keeps you on your toes so 100 percent yeah absolutely because yeah, yeah, yeah. they could have told the story like this right i mean yeah. it just could have been yeah. yeah it could have been just been a linear story and not even yeah. the different perspectives and you would totally. have said the same thing but it, it just it just made it more uh, you just didn't know what was going to happen at least for me watching this film, like i didn't know what was going to happen uh the reveals were super it was just super yeah. cool man it was Very such cool. a good film yeah it was Very such cool. a good film you, yeah you, what kind of training did you do for you said you started did they just sort of take the training you did for army of the dead and sort of like okay he's got that for wrath of man we can no use I, I i think we, we we went to london and we were you know we the group of us went out to the english countryside and went to like a, a sort of a um, a weapons uh you know uh sort of sp uh, specialist and we were put oh, wow. in like training camps and like we were oh, you know shit. okay yeah. wow wow <laughs> It was okay. fun. It was like, I mean, we could have done it for weeks. You know, we had a limited amount of time, but, but it was, of course. it was cool to get to that experience, you know, to experience that. And, and, um, uh, just to get, cause it's very physical. So, you know, you gotta get in there. You gotta feel comfortable with, with your weapon. I think I have, I have a shotgun in Wrath of Man. So it was about getting comfortable with that gun. And, and, and um, and it, it was also a good experience for us to kind of create a rapport among that group of dudes. Cause it, you know, it was, we're playing a former military unit, you know, the, people who are like spend that kind of time together build a certain level of bond as a short that's true 
you know, yeah, sure. so I think we need, we needed some time and I think it really helped. Um, uh, it helped us as a group, I think. Uh, yeah. but it was fun. It was cool. To, it was cool to get to do, I did, you know, weapons training on both. It was fun. It was, Dude, it was, that's like every kid's dream is to totally. like shoot some guns and totally. in a, right, like in a movie oh. and explosions. I mean, 100%, come on. Like, 100%, man. I was like, I was, <laughs> if my 10 year old self could see me now, it would be like over the moon. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely yeah. I mean, a Zack snyder zombie heist film hello Hell it's yeah. like the greatest thing ever and then a totally. guy richie like sort of this gangster heist film. i mean come on yeah, 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 yeah. So, for yeah. sure for sure so man. good that's awesome that's and again good. you you crushed it in the movies dude both of these Thank movies you. um appreciate it man. you know they both came out at the same time i don't know if you like that or not or did the yeah, pandemic sort of make that happen or I mean, I, 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 I don't know. I think maybe in some ways everyone had to kind of rethink their, their release schedules, but I, the timing of it is, I mean, literally like Wrath of Man was two weekends ago. Army of the Dead was just this last weekend and will be on Netflix by the time, you know, this is airing. And yeah. um, I, I couldn't be more excited. Uh, I, I feel like I have, a, you know, from the previous work that I have, I have a certain fan base that's followed me that I, that is incredible and like really supportive and, and, you know, it, it'll be great to, you know, for them to, to see these films, but then it'll be great for all the, you know, the Guy Ritchie fans and the Jason Statham fans and the, you know, Zack Snyder and the Dave Bautista fans to, to get to know my work as well. And like to, to get to bring them all along for the ride is, is really, really cool. Yeah.